All right, MMA fans, I'm here with PFL Challenger Series fighter, Amanda Levy. Hello, Amanda. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Listen, I, I saw some of your Instagram stories and uh, I noticed a certain mention to Polar Plunge. What yes. is it? <laughs> yeah. So um, for the new year um, on the Jersey Shore, at one of the shore points, they do like a fundraiser. And it's like in the winter, you jump in the ocean wow. for like this fundraiser. So I was using it as a recovery day. And I like tried to stay in there for like four minutes. Wow. Um, and it was like 40 degrees. So it was really cold. <laughs> I can guess that. How long have you been doing that? Uh, the last four years. So next year, we'll, it'll be the fifth year we do it. And um, it's probably one of my favorite traditions because there's just something about it that like, jumping in the ocean on the new year like in the cold it's just like i feel like it's a it's a cool way to start your new year indeed it is it is indeed <laughs> and and were you alone or were you with the, your sisters uh uh yeah so i was with some family um uh, my boyfriend and then um we actually do it with um the Graffis family um so we're friends with them and they have a house in brigantine so they invited us the first year that they did it and then we've been going ever since. Oh, that's very, very nice. But listen, I, I would love to stay here and discuss uh, about <laughs> Polar Plaza all day, for real. <laughs> but uh, you're scheduled uh, to compete on February the 3rd. Uh, you're taking on uh, Naranja Gal Duyash. Sorry, it's it's very difficult to pronounce it. I apologize if I mispronounced it. Uh, are you still training at uh, Dante River BJJ? Uh, no. So um, I'm at Daniel Gracie's uh, uh, Marquez MMA uh, in Philadelphia. And then I also train um, Jiu Jitsu at um, Precision Jiu Jitsu. And then I also I just I'm kind of everywhere. And then I train with uh, another guy for Jiu Jitsu. His name's Jerry Rigobuto and another guy for striking. His name's Robert Peach. So I kind of hop over like there's no like super camps around me. So um, anywhere I can get really good training is where I, I go. So uh, is that the main reason why you switched uh, camps? Yep. Yep. Um, so Dante's was really far for me because I'm from Philadelphia and he's in New Jersey. He's in like North Jersey. So, so it was like over an hour ride for me to get there. So um, I it was it was good for a little bit, but I'm like, this is getting too much. It's too much time in the car. <laughs> Uh, I mean, yes, uh, uh, you have a point there. Uh, Sendayush competed uh, at the 2016 uh, Rio Olympics in judo. What do you expect uh, from your opponent, considering that you have such a strong and good grappling and, uh, you know, BJJ background? Um, so I just expect her to be a little bit more judo focused, but um, I was watching some of her judo film. And she seemed to be like more of like a sleeve thrower, which I don't think will translate very well into like the MMA game. Um, and I'm just really confident in my wrestling and my jujitsu. So um, if she wants to just try to throw me, the ground is my game anyway. <laughs> <laughs> did you do any particular work in preparation for this fight? Like, did you train specifically in a certain as aspect of your game? Um. So wrestling wise, we just practiced on not letting people like load me up on their hip like a judo player would um, be like more apt to do. Um. So I was just focusing on staying more low towards the legs um, but nothing really like too focused on the judo because I want to implement my game more than um, worry about her game. You already made your professional debut under the Professional Fighters League banner last year in August. Uh, you defeated Miranda Barber on that occasion. Uh, what did you, you know, what were your expectations uh, on that night? And uh, what did you think, you know, about the whole, the whole situation? Uh, it was great. Um, so the PFL was just a, such an, a great organization to fight for. They take such good care of you. Um, like that whole week was just super fun for me. Um, like I was just really embracing, you know, the whole experience because this is something that I wanted to do for so long was to fight professionally. And then being able to do it on such a big stage was such an incredible experience for me. So that whole week, I was just so happy and thrilled to be there. Um, and then the fight, 
um, went, went great. I mean, I got caught, but, um, of course my jujitsu, you know, kicks in and I don't think a lot of these girls have the jujitsu caliber as I do. Um, so I think a lot of the girls in this division probably have more experience than me in the cage because I didn't get many amateur fights because of my jujitsu background. Like it was very hard for, to find willing opponents because they would just look me up and then see my jujitsu background and then be like, no, I'm not taking this fight. So that was like really frustrating. So um, I would say that this division just has, you know, a lot of girls with more experience than me, but once I start to get the experience, they all better watch out. <laughs> Speaking of your jiu-jitsu caliber, I saw some very interesting videos of you taking on male opponents in uh, jiu-jitsu, you know, competitions, uh, uh, fights, uh, you know, in general. Uh, can, can you please explain me that? Oh, uh, yeah. So um, I've been doing jiu-jitsu since I was uh, a kid. And um, are you talking about the Gabby Garcia match? Is that the one that you're spit? Yeah. Uh, so like Gabby is just, um, she's a humongous woman. Um, so she was the number one ranked grappler when I fought her in, in like a, who's it's called who's number one. So it was an eight woman bracket and I was seated eighth and she was seated first. And, um, so we had her, I had her, my first matchup and it was like a huge upset because obviously she was supposed to beat me. Um, but again, just like lately I've been focusing on trying to get like the mental aspect of fighting and grappling down as well as technique, and I think it's going really well for me. Um, sorry, I apologize. No, I was not referring to the Gabby Garcia fight, of course. Uh, I, I saw some videos actually on Sure Dogs forum of you taking on, for example, uh, Scott Toro uh, in under... Uh, are, are you the same, like the, the same Am Amanda, or, or is that someone who's... Uh, um, wait, who was the opponent? Uh, Scott Toro. Mm, no, I don't think so. Uh, Justin O'Connor or like uh oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So that was my, that might have been when I was a kid. Um okay. so yeah, so as a teenager and kid, there was never really many girls for me to fight grappling wise because it wasn't popular yet for girls to be in it. So as a teenager and kid, I would always fight boys. So those are probably the matches that you're referring to. Yes, yes. So sorry, I, I apologize. Oh, yeah, you're good. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. I got you. And uh, yeah, you you were telling me that you defeated Gabby Garcia, right? In, uh, yeah. in that that was quite quite impressive as well. Thank you. Um, were you happy on that occasion? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, I was so happy. Um, it just uh, it was a good feeling because I always wanted to compete against her because I always saw other girls that I went against compete against her, and they always did fairly well. And I was like, oh, I wonder how I could do against her, and then. Clearly, I did great against her, so I was really happy. <laughs> and uh, what's about the fact that this year you will actually be competed, uh, competing sorry, at, at uh, featherweight since the EPFL implemented the, the, the new division? Um, last year, you fought at uh, lightweight, if I'm not wrong, right? Yeah, so um, I'm actually definitely more of a featherweight anyway. Um, I was only fighting up in weight which I walk around like naturally at 155, 160. Wow. So like a 45 cut is really nothing for me. It's just me cleaning up my diet and um, basically just me cleaning up my diet, really. Uh, so uh, like I was just doing 155 just because the opportunity was there and the PFL is just such a great organization to fight for. I couldn't say no. So uh, perhaps in your future, do you see yourself competing even at 135? Um, I always said that I think I, I, I tried to make 135 one time for a grappling match and I made it, but I didn't feel great. Huh. Um, I was also walking around a little heavier at the time. I think now I could probably make 135 a little bit better, but I do like fighting at 145 just because I feel really strong. Um, and I don't have to focus so much on like the weight cut aspect. Like when I go down the 135, I, everything is surrounded by my weight cut. I have to run more i have to eat less i have to do this i have to do that whereas 145 i'm just training and cleaning up my diet and i'll get down to 145 i understand amanda do you have any less messages nope i'm just ready to fight on february 3rd and i'm pretty excited i'm looking forward to watching your fight thank you for giving us a little bit of your time today best of luck with your upcoming fight and hopefully i'll hear again from you in the future all right thank you very much have a nice day bye bye